Hi Pisces, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Anique, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this message, this message is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, leave for another healing homie. With that said, if you're new to my channel, what's up? How are you? If you're a returning healing homie, what's up gang? I missed you boo. Um, how I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first and then i get into your honest talking tarot session and at the very end we get a little nosy and spill the tea on what your person may want to say to you so with that said pisces let's get into your reading um pisces you could be dealing with another pisces like yourself um for others of you you could be in a relationship or a friendship or some type of partnership with someone and the underlining meaning of your relationship is the fact that you guys are just trauma bonding you guys may have went through similar situations and that's why you guys are together that's why you're hanging out with these friends that's why you're around these particular people because you guys are trauma bonding there's no real bond between the two of you but trauma and the trauma that you guys are bonding with is the trauma that is acting out in your relationships with these people right now um if somebody was trying to one up you as well pisces you're going to get victory at the end people are going to realize uh the malicious that's a malicious malicious things that the person was saying or doing towards you uh people are going to recognize you for being legit uh they're gonna honor you in high regards uh there could be competition with other people as well so if say you're running a marathon or you're going for a job and there's like five other people or you're going on an audition because you're an actor or an actress or something like that you're going to get the role the thing is you got to know that you're going to get the role you'll get the role uh, for others of you, you could just be, you know, fighting battles within yourself as well at this time, okay? And you, um, it's like your higher self is trying to let you know, like, listen, there's some things that you need to heal. There's some karmic cycles that you keep going through. There's some lessons that you need to learn. But I see that you're going to be victorious with overcoming these things, okay? Um, some of you are going to have to beat some people off with a stick as well, especially once you start healing, especially once you start growing more um, and seeing the lessons that you need to learn. And it's like the more lessons you learn, the more blessings you receive. And like I said, people are going to be attracted to that light that's within you. Um, if you're dealing with um, someone, know that they may, especially if they're a hard communicator or they don't, it's hard for them to express how they truly feel. Pay attention to the music that they listen to, or this could be you. You utilize, you utilize music to, you know, let someone know how, you know, you, they make you feel type of energy because it's hard for you to communicate and that's something that, that you may have to work on okay um also if you're thinking about you know opening up your own business that's a good idea especially if you're the type of person that don't like listening to nobody okay it's time for you to be a boss and a lot of you guys need to sage your homes sage your items cleanse yourselves uh take a spiritual bath cleanse your circles cleanse your your dating uh, the people you got in rotation, like change your standards, everything, okay? Because there's karmic cycles, karmic lessons that you're learning at this time, especially with this cycle here at the bottom of the deck after I shuffled your cards off camera. Now, Pisces, if that has resonated with you so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel. I do appreciate the love and the support, guys. I really do appreciate you. With that said, let's get into your reading, okay? Let's get a card for self-awareness for Pisces. Let's get family and friends. Let's get finances. Love relationships. Okay, so you have some decisions to make Pisces, okay? Lots and lots of decisions pertaining to every aspect in your life, okay? Um, what you have to be aware of when it comes to yourself is you are naturally ruled by jupiter right along with sagittarius so you guys are prone to expanding in any way shape or form in every aspect of your life for the good or for the for the better or for worse okay you have to choose that you're that lucky star that you're the person that's going to get that that job or uh, that position or that role or whatever it is that you want you have to claim it 
Okay, Pisces, you have to claim it. If you don't claim it, it ain't yours. You got to claim it. It's yours. I ain't talking about these, these trauma bonding relationships here. But when it comes to what you want to manifest in your life, okay, you have to make a decision to say, this is what I want. This is what I'm going after. This is what I got to do to take action to get it. And you will have it, Pisces, okay? Astrologically speaking, it's on your side, but you have to decide. And then you have to complain, uh, complain. Then you have to decide. Then you have to claim it. And then you have to take action towards it, okay? That's all you got to do. And it'll fall literally right in your lap. But others of you, when it comes to family and friends, you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Having to make a decision on if you're going to deal with this person or not in your family. But others of you, you could just be pulling back from family and friends. You're deciding like, listen, I don't want to be involved with y'all right now. I want to be left alone right now. I want to be in my own energy right now. I don't want to have anybody's influence right now. Um, I do see you deciding to do that. And for others of you, you may be deciding to get out of this hermit mode and engage with your family and friends again, depending on where you are right now. Okay. Pisces, when it comes to your finances, you have to decide, okay? Are you going to take this leap of faith and have this baby? Or are you not? Like, I don't know what I'm getting here. It's like, you have a decision to make, okay? Like, so say you're in a relationship with someone and you keep sitting here having raw sex with the person. You know that's a foolish mistake especially if you can't afford to have no baby so why are you over here and you ain't on birth control and you ain't taking no uh plan b's and stuff like that why would you make foolish decisions like that knowing it's gonna cost you money to get pregnant cost you money to have a baby some of you guys if that ain't your case you finally decided like listen i done made enough money i'm content where i'm at i'm ready for a fresh start let's have this baby some of you already are pregnant, okay? Some of you took the leap of faith with somebody and you're pregnant. So congratulations to you guys. Because guess what? That's where your finances is going, okay? Whether you whether you planned it or not, whether it's a oops baby or a plan baby, you are going to have to come out your pocket, okay? Or if this isn't you and there's somebody, you know, within your energetic field, whether it's a family member, a friend, whatever the case may be, they were foolish enough to sit there and get pregnant, and now they over here looking at you like, can you help me? So be mindful of that, too, and now you got to decide if you want to help somebody. Now, for pregnant, now, in my culture, we don't deny pregnant women. I thought that was when my grandma told me not to, not to deny a pregnant lady, and I did. I got a star on my eye, so don't be denying pregnant women, okay? If they ask for something, sell them, I ain't got that, but I can give you a little bit of this, okay? So just don't deny them, okay? Don't be making that foolish mistake and deny a pregnant woman or some money or some food or something, and then your ass wake up with a style on your eye. I'm full one in you now. Now, when it comes to love relationships, you ain't thinking about love right now. It's like, Pisces, why are you entertaining people if you ain't thinking about love? Because I feel like there's people that is coming into your life that's wanting to love you. And you ain't even thinking about their asses. Oh. And then we got Cuff It by Beyonce playing right now. People want to cuff you and you ain't even thinking about their ass. Like you ain't even, in your mind, in the back of your head, you're like, these people is playing games. I ain't got time for this. I'm going to keep up with my play ways. And um, be mindful of that too, Pisces, with your play ways. You might get end up pregnant. <laughs> Okay, spring gonna be like boom. That's the person you're supposed to be with. That's why your ass got pregnant. <laughs> so, be mindful of that uh, because love it may not be on your brain, but it may be on somebody else's brain. Okay, you may feel like you ain't trying to compete for love. You ain't sitting there dealing with people that's dating multiple people, and because you are the one, the oddball out. That's like I'm not about to sit there and bleed, sweat, and have tears coming out my eyes for somebody that's dating multiple people. And these other people is over here fighting for this person. And because you're the one that's not fighting for them, you're going to have the victory with this person because you're not even thinking about their ass. So you're going to have a decision to make when it comes to love. So be prepared for that. All right. Um, let's look at how love has treated you 
in the past well really not how, how it's treated you in the past but how it's impacted you in the past and in the present a lot of you guys may have become clingy in love and very attached to someone and that's part of your trauma bonding where there's some type of codependency issue abandonment issue or some sort okay okay we have overly defensive so maybe you take you know things to the heart every time someone says something to you and overprotective as well so you could be also overly protective of your partners okay and that could be because someone you know in your past uh was that way with you but really they were just controlling his shit okay you probably used to d deal with people they used to sell drugs okay or they may have even had you selling drugs at one point in time all right or you may have always had to like defend yourself in relationships so now when anybody says the smallest slightest little thing even if it's um constructive criticism you are like on your p's and q's with your eyes that and in your t's crossed ready to fight so be mindful of that that's something that you may need to heal from okay let's get some oh before we even get into your homegirl advice, let's sit here and get your cards on what your person may want to say to you, Pisces. The person that is on Pisces' mind. Okay, we're not doing all of those because we had like half the deck come out. But let's see. What does your person want to say to you? It says things are complicated. So they may be going through some things that, you know, it's, it's a little too much going on for them right now. I'm going to see the lady. Somebody may be taking this as a joke. They could be just saying this to you just to say it to you. So please be mindful of that. Someone wants to let you know that it's okay to move on. So if you left somebody, it's okay. Don't feel bad. Don't feel guilty. You did what you were supposed to do. You could be dealing with someone that owns a gun or you may have one. I just want to know your name. So somebody is, is eyeing you, Pisces, okay? Even though you ain't thinking about nobody, somebody got their eye on you. Someone is also taking their mask off. So the person that may have been, you know, not so... Uh, expressive verbally on how they feel about you they're finally taking their mask off they're letting their guard down and they ain't playing them damn songs no more for you to be having guessing games with they ass because i feel like one minute they sing sing they got these love songs playing then the next minute they got some gangster shit and then the next minute they got some old fuck hoes get money type energy and you over here like bruh if you don't spit it out i don't know what you're talking about um, it says you can't replace me. So maybe you even tried walking away from this person, Pisces. And they're like, um, uh-uh. Be mindful because a hey big head text message will be coming to you sooner than later. Uh, and be mindful. I think the 28th or the 29th is Mercury retrograde. So just know a lot of things is coming back around for you to resolve, re re, re revise. And we all know there could be miscommunication around that time. So don't take things personal. And if you have Aries in your chart, because I'm hearing that song again by Monica, don't take it personal. If you have Aries in your chart, check out that Aries reading. There is a message for you. But let's get your homegirl advice, Pisces. Never change unless it's for your highest good. So you know what it is that you need to change within yourself to better yourself. It says it's dead around here. Go buy a plant. So you need to be around nature. You need to have some plants in your house. They help purify the air. Um, it says, what have you done for yourself lately, Pisces? Think about it. If you ain't did nothing for yourself lately, go treat yourself, okay? Just treat yourself to a massage. Treat yourself to get your hair done. Treat yourself to get your nails done. Take yourself to the movies. Go out to dinner. I've done it plenty of times. You know what? I, those are the best dates because I ain't got to worry about what that person want to eat, where we going to eat together so we can find a meal together that we both like. No, I'm going to go where I want to go. I'm going to watch the movie that I want to watch. Like, that's my date to myself is taking myself out to eat and going to the movies. Like, that's one of my best things to do for myself, um, like, as far as date-wise go, you know? Anything else, I feel like I got to interact with other people, like... Movies, you could be quiet. You ain't talking to nobody. So you could do a date like that by yourself. But like if I got if I want to go roller skating or something like that or bowling, I, I want somebody with me. Now, it says life is beautiful when you start to see God in everything. So even through the worst, even through the best, even through the fucked up situations, even with people, you know, having you compete for their love is like there's a lot of lessons that you need to learn within yourself in all of those situations. And if you see God in every situation that has ever happened to you, it was to heal you, to better you, for you to value yourself more. We also have the towers coming. So 
Know that there's big changes that are happening for you. A lot of you guys, this tower is coming because you didn't choose to make a, make up your mind about something. And that's for, especially for that person when I sat there and said, uh, because um, you ain't thinking about something, you're going to end up pregnant. And that's going to be the person you're supposed to be with. That may be your tower for some of you guys. Others of you, your towers could be totally different where it's, a, again, a change in your mindset, a change in... Uh, realizing that somebody has you competing for their love for you to walk away and have victory with yourself. Um, so take it how it resonates. But let's get an or oracle message for you guys. My car they ain't gonna show. Let's get an oracle message for Pisces. A new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So some of you may have even experienced your tower moment already and now you're ready for something brand new. You may have went through the struggle and now you're having victory, okay? So please be mindful. Like I said, them hey big head text messages, I don't know. And don't forget to get your rest, Pisces. Do not overwork yourself. But if that, again, has resonated with you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you later.